your mama. <laughs>Hey, yo, what is going on, y'all? It's Angelo, and we back with a brand new video. A lot has happened since my last KVK update, so here we are with pretty much the last scoop of this KVK. Before we get started, I just want to give a big shout out to both our allies and enemies to have made this KVK really interesting. Actually, 474 doesn't deserve any credit. It's like if mid KVK they actually realized what they were up against and just decided to. Yep, most of their players migrated mid of KVK, talk about screwing your allies up. Anyways, back to how King's Land went. Now, even before going into King's Land, I was pretty confident we would have won the zone just because essentially it was a 4v1, considering that 474 ditched their allies and 1075 are locked up. So it was only a matter of time before we would just occupy most of the land. No disrespect to 1945, but they were pretty much cast out from their fights against 664 and 846. Now don't get me wrong, they're a really powerful kingdom. I mean, big respect to all of them, the way they fought. I mean, they went head to head against 664 and actually gave 846 a run for their money. Now, given that we knew we would have won Kingsland, the issue I have is that our piss poor 254 strategy was coming into Kingsland. I mean, no harsh feelings, but hey, even Nugget would agree with me. I mean, I'm pretty sure you saw those pretty bad forts placement. I guess this is what happens when Bunny is not online. So yeah, pretty much after level 7 pass is open, 556 started building a bit towards 254's pass which is when 254 started placing these weird forts right next to like 556 territory pretty much like 556 only needed to build a couple flags to actually reach the forts and i mean without any field presence you're not going to be able to actually do something right so the forts were just really not well placed while at the same time 1093 kept pressuring the rest of 254 by that level 7 gate as you can see from this beautiful marker now at that time 846 was making the way down towards 254 by taking out 945 and 474 uh forts now i'm gonna put a couple of fun clips of rallies and swarms that happened in that zone but other than that, after the first hour or two, it was just really boring. I mean, it was 254 players just abusing this whole jumping from their city type of thing, right? Yep, they city up for a good while, but essentially they got kicked out of that zone once all the flags got deleted. As for what happened after, it's mostly them defending the last piece of territory they have. Now, even though KVK is obviously over, there's still three Imperium Kingdoms remaining, right? So their main concern is to actually drop down of Imperium quite hard. So expect to see many more big reports like these ones to come in the next couple days. Fun fact, the rally lasted for so long that the report had to be split in two by Lilith. That aside guys, every kingdom showed up and fought and that's what counts honestly, regardless of who wins what. Excluding 474. You the ones that migrated at least. Anyways guys, I know it wasn't anything spicy, but yeah, pretty much bad fort placements and horrible planning just made them lose the zone way faster than they should've. Now if you wonder why Bunny at that time wasn't online during the whole King's Land is because he was actually stuck on a plane going back to his country. So yeah, I just figured I would let y'all know since I saw a lot of hate on Facebook for that, for him being off. Now before I end the video, I mashed up a bunch of memes that were made during the King's Land opening and so on. So feel free to stay and watch that if you want. If you guys liked the video, consider giving it a like and a subscribe if you haven't. That being said, peace.
tall one. Yeah, he's right there. What the dog doing? One day, one day, we gon' get it one day.